In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the Lamb of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Magandang umaga po. Welcome po sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. As we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries this Sunday, let us recall our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. For the times we have forgotten our eternal destiny and sought only the comforts of this life, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. For the times we have rejected our neighbors' pleas for help, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. For the times we have been a cause of suffering for our brothers and sisters in our community, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Belief in the resurrection of the dead was the un unconquerable moral strength which enabled the seven young Jewish martyrs and their mother to endure terrible tortures because of their loyalty to the law of the Lord. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, You accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport, he put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received this. For the sake of his laws, I disdain them. From him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, It is my choice to die at the hands of men with the hope God gives of being raised up as by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. My steps have been steadfast in your paths. My feet have not faltered. I call upon you, for you will answer me, O God. Incline your ear to me. Hear my word. Keep me as the apple of your eye, hide me in the shadow of your wings, but I in justice shall behold your face, on waking I shall be content in your presence.
The few verses today's excerpt from the second letter of the Thessalonians reveals the Apostle Paul's fatherly concern for the welfare of those believers. They also reveal his ardent desire that the gospel may enlighten many others. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Brothers and sisters, May our Lord Jesus Christ, Himself, and God our Father, who has loved us and given us everlasting encouragement and good hope through His grace, encourage your hearts and strengthen them in every good deed and word. Finally, brothers and sisters, pray for us so that the word of the Lord may speed forward and be glorified as it did among you, and that we may be delivered from perverse and wicked people, for not all have faith. But the Lord is faithful. He will strengthen you and guard you from the evil one. We are confident of you in the Lord that we, what we instruct you, you are doing and will continue to do. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the endurance of Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Jesus Christ is the firstborn of the dead. To him be glory and power forever and ever. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord some sadducees those who deny that there is a resurrection came forward jesus said to them the children of this age marry and remarry but those who are deemed worthy to attain to the coming age and to the resurrection of the dead, neither marry nor are given in marriage. They can no longer die, for they are like angels and they are children of God, because they are the ones who will rise. The dead will rise, even Moses made known in the passage about the bush, when he called out, Lord, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob, and he is not God of the dead, but of the living, for to him or are alive. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Our Gospel today is telling us about the resurrection. Ito po yung mga bagay na ilang beses na po nating narinig sa Ebanghelyo. That one day, all of us, after our death, will rise again and hopefully to live God with God eternally. Pero kung titingnan po natin ang ating paligid, at ang ating mga buhay actually, masasabi natin na parang naniniwala ba talaga tayo sa resurrection? Eh bakit parang, parang hindi naman natin iniisip ang resurrection? Kasi kung iniisip po natin yung resurrection, ay ngayon pa lang, malamang at malamang, every day of our lives, kung concern tayo doon, we will live according to the will of the Lord. Napansin niyo po ba ang ating mga balita? As if we are on the brink of war. Nations against nations. Nagpapalipad po 
ng mga missiles na para pong mga sananggola lang. Isang mali lang doon. Isang miscalculation lang doon sa mga actions. It could be another world war. Pero yung digmaan po, yung war, hindi lang po nangyayari sa bansa, laban sa bansa. Minsan nangyayari din po yan in a small scale sa ating family, within the friends, circle of friends, at kahit nga mismo sa sarili natin, may sarili-sarili po tayong digmaan na hinaharap sa ating buhay at akalaban natin malupit ang sarili po natin. Minsan nakakita na ba kayo ng bata, inutusan ng nanay, Anak, maghugas ka muna ng plato. Eh ang anak, busy sa paglalaro, ayaw maghugas. Nagagalit na yung nanay. Anak, maghugas ka na ng plato. Isa, wala pa rin. Dalawa, wala pa rin. Alam, alam niyo po yung mga bata ngayon, hindi na po natatakot sa mga ganyan. After a while, sila na rin yung magbibilang. Tatlo, apat, lima, anim, pito, walo, ang bilis pa. Tapos nakasmile pa yan na titingin sa inyo. Kung titingnan kung ano yung gagawin nyo after matapos na yung sampo na napakabilis. They are challenging you. Are you trying to wage a war against them? At kung magalit ka man, nilagay mo man siya sa sako, tinali sa taas ng puno, di kaya pinakagat ng mga langgam, pinalo ng pinalo, kahit anong gawin mo, sa tingin mo ba, nanalo ka sa digmaan again sa iyong anak? Sa palagay niyo po. Sa giyera po, o sa anumang away, wala naman po talagang nananalo. Kahit sabihin mo pang nasako mo yung bata, o di kaya nanalo yung ibang bansa, isang bansa against sa isang bansa, marami pong nawala. Nawalan ka po ng maraming pera, nawalan ka po ng maraming oras, at nawalan ka po ng maraming lakas. Wala pong absolute winner pagdating po sa gyera. Kaya naman po, very relevant pa rin yung mga ancient philosophy na tinuturo ng mga tao even before, no, during the ancient times. Ano po yung sinasabi nila? The best win is to win without a battle. No, yung tinatawag nating bloodless battle. Paano po natin ipapanalo ang isang laban na hindi ka man lang lumalaban? Well, madali lang po sabihin, pero tingnan natin kung kakaya natin gawin. Kung paano daw po tayo manalo is to win the heart of your opponent. Kailangan mapanalunan natin yung puso ng ating kalaban. O kung sino man yung ka, someone whom we are good. First, saan ka unang matuto? Matuto ka muna sa sarili mo. Examine your life. Alam mo po, kayo, tayo, tayong lahat, mga tao, we don't want to be controlled. Natural yun. Kasi nga, even God gave us freedom. We are free and we want to do what we want. Lagi po natin gusto, gustong gawin yung mga gusto natin gawin. And we don't like others to control us. Minsan nga, i-release pa nila, God, God. Give us freedom, ikaw pa, ikaw control mo kami. Siyempre. Pero minsan-minsan din po sa ating buhay, may mga tao pong we allowed ourselves to be controlled. Pagdating sa taong to, obedient tayo. Tayo yung meek. Sige na nga. Pansin niyo po ba yan? Kasi po, kung walang ganun, baka hindi pa po kayo nagmahal. Minsan po sa buhay natin may mga taong ganun. Sa iba, ayaw natin magpakontrol. 
Pero there are certain people na, sige, okay lang. Kasi mahal mo yung tao. And in that scenario, yung taong sinusunod mo, win your heart without a battle. Bakit ho ba kayo nandito? Pwede naman po kayong pumunta sa ibang lugar, maligo sa dagat, magmoling, magparty, lahat po pwede niyong gawin. Why spend an hour or more here in the shrine? Yung iba po sa inyo galing pa po ng pagkalayo-layo. Welcome po sa mga malayo ang pinanggalingan at lalong-lalo na po yung mga first time na pumunta po dito sa Basilica of Our Lady of Manawag. Bakit po kayo nandito? Maybe God, win your heart at this hour. You spend your time here with God praying. Maybe God, win your heart. And if ever po someday, simula ngayon and to the rest of our lives, if you want to win a battle, hindi na po kailangan ng maraming sigawan. Hindi na po kailangan ng tapunan ng mga plato o mauwi sa mga annulment, mauwi sa sampalan, sa bunutan, at mga hindi magagandang posting against one another in social media. Mahira po ang sagot. Pero pagmamahal, respeto, magandang pakikisama in order to win the heart of others. Maybe po, kung kalaban natin sila before and one day, baka isang tingin mo lang, susunod na tayo. Katulad po, ng pag-anyaya sa atin ni Kristo upang tayo po ay sumunod sa Kanya. Sumunod po tayo sa Kanya dahil po, Mahal na mahal po tayo ng Diyos. Let us all stand. I believe in one God. Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate, He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered together by our common faith and hope, let us address our humble petitions to the Lord for the living and the dead. Let our response be, Lord of life, hear us. Lord of life, hear us. For the family of all believers scattered throughout the world, may they constantly give witness to their faith in the final resurrection by the way they live. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. For the Holy Father and all, all our spiritual leaders, may they find in the martyrs of old the strength to endure all attacks mounted against them. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. For those who do not believe in the resurrection of the dead, may they realize that our life on earth has meaning only if we will receive from God the just reward for our deeds. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. 
for all those who work for justice and peace in our country and the rest of the world. May they persevere in the good work even when they do not receive the expected support. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. For those who are in agony and are about to leave this world, may they put all their trust in the Lord's infinite mercy as they look forward to their own resurrection in the life to come. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord of life, hear us. Lord God, may our life be consistent with our faith in the resurrection of the life to come. May we live forever with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all, His Holy Church. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the... Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may be honored it without loving, with loving devotion. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body, we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of eternal life. For having received the fruits of the Spirit, through whom you raise up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewful, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Brothers and sisters, the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be creators to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Amen. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion bago humarap sa magbibigay ng communion, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen at isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po niyong isubo ha habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand.
Let us pray. Nourished by the sacred gift, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those, in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa pag-uwi at alalahanin po natin pagmamahal lang po ang pwedeng magpatigil sa anumang gulo. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ngayon po ay pagdasal din po natin yung ating mga manal, mahal sa buhay na may sakit. God Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness to work our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.